Today's video is brought to you by Know Your Rights, Rights Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about your rights during a traffic stop or when you get pulled over by a police officer. You have very good rights when you get pulled over by a police officer. Oftentimes they are violated though due to the lack of knowledge of your rights as an American citizen. The only information you must provide to the officer is one, your valid legal name and two, your current address. It's common when you get pulled over to roll down your window. However, this is not required. You only have to lower your window enough to give the officer the information such as your driver's license and proof of insurance. A police officer has no right to search your car without probable cause. For example, he or she smells drugs within the vehicle. Here's a quote taken from FlexYourRights.com. Be aware that minor traffic violations, such as speeding, broken taillights, or expired registrations, are not considered probable causes. Here are some things you need to know. You have every right to film and record a traffic stop in all of its consistencies, such as taking out your phone and taking a video, or taking an audio message. You do not have to consent to a search. This means when the officer asks you if you can search your vehicle, you are entitled by law to say no. It is highly recommended that you always say no, even if you're completely sure that there's nothing in your vehicle. This is because if someone were to leave left something in there, for example, your grandmother's medication, and it's not in your name, in the eyes of the court, you're now subject to arrest because you have illegal drugs in your vehicle. This is why you're not supposed to consent to a search. You're allowed to ask questions. People often forget that they are allowed to ask for the officer's name and badge number. Going back to you don't have to consent to a search. Keep in mind that the officer is not authorized to tell you that it's protected by the Fourth Amendment that he doesn't have to tell you. That you do not have to accept. You can always decline. You may decline questions, for example, where are you headed, or do you have any illegal, anything illegal in your car? These are often questions that are going to be used against you in the court of law, so it's always easy to just decline those so they can't come back later. Your rights are protected by the United States Civil Rights Act. If you feel your rights have been violated in any way, you should always contact a federal attorney and see about getting it worked out. This is why you should record all traffic stops that you feel may turn into something later. Videos are a great way in your defense in the court of law to win and rule in, in your favor. Another big thanks to www.thelawmadeeasy.blogspot.com for providing us with all the legal information and rights to use their information in this video. You should head over and check it out. They have a lot of cool stuff. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos on how to protect your rights.